Number one, Mark Wahlberg. Today, Mark Wahlberg does appear to have it all, but we can't grudge him that since he worked hard for it. Mark was the youngest of nine children, and back in the days, he had a history of acting out and doing stuff that made law enforcement personnel in his area less than pleased. His biggest run-in with the law, however, came when he was involved in an altercation with a couple of old men. Mark walked up to these old fellas and did some damage to them totally without provocation. He was arrested, pled guilty, and was sentenced to two years in prison, serving just 45 days of his sentence. His prison experience was, according to him, all the motivation he needed to turn his life around. Attaboy. Number 2. Kiefer Sutherland Kiefer Sutherland is just one of those fellas that need an introduction about as much as a duck needs a bath. He's the star of 24, a TV show like no other that has more fans than there are people on the planet. Fame, however, hasn't always been kind to poor Kiefer. In late 2007, he was sentenced to 48 days in jail for driving a vehicle while impaired. The poor guy was going home from a party and had taken a few glasses too many. It didn't help that at the time he was arrested, he was still on probation for a similar offense. Brought before the court, he was sentenced to 48 days in jail and was reportedly a model prisoner. Number 3. Lindsay Lohan Trouble always seems to find Lindsay Lohan, wherever she may be, and the lass has led a life that just makes you feel bad on her behalf. Just about every aspect of her life has heavyweight issues that poor Lindsay seems incapable of battling, and you just have to wonder. Early in 2010, she was arrested for taking jewelry that she didn't own from a store and was sentenced to 120 days in jail, plus community service. However, only a few hours after she was locked up, she was told to go home due to overcrowding. <laughs> Lucky her. Number 4. Martha Stewart She has brains in abundance, plus an indomitable will that could force a granite mountain to take a leave of absence. She was a very successful lady in just about every way, but did spend about five months in jail for being less than truthful to federal investigators. She was also fined, had to pay court fees, and was forced to subject herself to five months long house arrest. She has served her time, and this particular running with the law appears to not have dimmed the allure of her name or reputation. And now it's time for the quiz. Can you guess which of these Hollywood ladies have been to jail? A. Rihanna B. Nicole Snooky Polizzi C. Pamela Anderson or D. Miley Cyrus Think you know the answer? Read it right now in the comments section below and keep watching till the end of the video to find out if you are correct as we reveal the answer. Number 5. Lil Wayne In 2010, Lil Wayne was sentenced to 8 months in prison after being found guilty of being in possession of a single piece of fire spitting steel. He used the break to recharge and ponder on life, write stuff, and plot his triumphant return. The rapper actually served seven months of his eight-month sentence, getting the last off for good behavior. As his fans know, Lil Wayne is no stranger to prison and has a rap sheet longer than the line at the single Walmart shop in your neighborhood that's selling brand new PS5 consoles for a dollar apiece. Number 6. Mike Sorrentino Mike Sorrentino has a smile that could melt down a pile of steel and is so handsome it's forgiven to crush on him to the fullest. Guy got famous for starring in Jersey Shore and has been in several mesmerizing TV shows as well. Well, it does appear that this celebrity is not a fan of following the uh, rules and regulations. Pretty Mike here got in trouble for not showing proper respect to the tax man and for that was sentenced to all of 8 months in jail, 500 hours of community service, and 2 years of probation. That's a lot. Mike has since served his time, let's all hope now that he's learned his lesson from now on so that he'll be given the tax man his due. Number 7. T.I. Rapper T.I. sure can lay down the flow, but has problems keeping his nose clean. He's been nominated for more Grammy Awards than there are planets in the solar system and has been featured in blockbuster movies that tend to shake up the body system of viewers. These days, T.I. seems to have been cleaning up his act, but back in 2010, he was sentenced to 11 months in jail for not being able to keep up to the terms of his probation. His lawyers did their best to persuade the judge that their man was trying his best, but the judge was less than impressed and sentenced the award-winning rapper, actor, and producer to almost a year in jail. Number 8. Teresa Gudis Teresa Gudis is a reality TV star that not many people have heard of. You can see her in The Real Housewives of New Jersey, and she has several books to her credit. In 2003, she and her husband got indicted for being less than honest in their dealings. Both were said to have given less than credible information on loan application forms and not being open about how much they owned. The husband, too, was reputedly not very enthusiastic about paying federal taxes. Charged in court, Teresa got 15 months while her husband was blessed with 41 months in jail. She, however, served just 11 and a half months of her sentence and has gone on record as lamenting her prison experience. Number 9. Lil' Kim Lil' Kim is uh, one diva of a lady. 
lover or hater, there's no denying she has a way with words and can rap from dawn till dusk, dealing out vibes and moods with a generous hand. In 2005, she got sentenced to a year and a day in prison. Her crime was the fact that she'd been less than truthful when questioned by a grand jury about a firefight that involved her entourage. She was also fined $50,000. All things considered, she got away lightly, since the maximum penalty for what she was found guilty of is set at 20 years. But then again, sentencing a person like Little Kim to 20 years in jail just for being creative with the truth is a great recipe for cooking up national-wide uproar. Number 10, Macaulay Culkin. River Home Alone? Yeah, who doesn't? Well, the ultra-adorable star of the movie is now 40 years old. That's right, Macaulay Culkin is now old enough to be a daddy, or even a grandpa. Sure, makes you feel ancient, doesn't it? Anyway, Macaulay Culkin's age is not the issue here, but the fact that he was at one time found guilty of a crime and sentenced to three years does. What happened was that Culkin was arrested for having controlled substances. Yeah, he was subsequently given three separate one-year suspended sentences, was fined $540, and sternly told to go and sin no more. Based on the evidence before us, it's uh, fair to say that he has heeded that advice. Number 11. Mike Tyson Iron Mike Tyson was the kind of guy who could make grown men mess their pants just by doing nothing more than staring at them. He was violent, powerful, and had a punch that could pulverize a mountain, let alone a human body. Fame, honor, and glory came his way in boatloads once he entered the record books by becoming the youngest heavyweight boxing champion of the world. But he was not a happy man and often felt that the rules didn't apply to beasts of his caliber. In 1992, he was found guilty of violently forcing himself onto a woman and was sentenced to six years in prison. He served three years before being let loose to roam free again and shake up the heads of his opponents with his fists. Number 12, 50 Cent. 50 Cent did not have an easy life by any definition. His mom dealt controlled substances and he grew up in a place where violent crime was an accepted way of life. He took to selling those substances to make ends meet and got so good at it that he was making serious money in his teens. Then he got discovered and his career took off. But in mid-1994, the police went through his house and found controlled substances that weren't supposed to be there. They were less than pleased at this and charged him to court. For this offense, he was sentenced from three to nine years in prison. He only served six months of that sentence. Number 13, Bill Cosby. At one time, Bill Cosby was revered across much of the world. And then credible allegations of aggravated indecent assault came to light and things have never been the same since. In 2018, he showed up in court and got sentenced from 3 to 10 years in prison. The offenses that he was charged with collectively carried a maximum sentence of 30 years. So all things considered, he got off lightly. However, efforts are still underway to ensure that he's brought to justice for his many crimes. He has appeared in movies such as 2004's Fat Albert as himself and the 1990 Ghost Dad as Elliot Hopper. Number 14, Abby Lee Miller. Abby Lee Miller is a reality TV star. She's on Dance Moms, if you were wondering. Getting in trouble with the law seemed apparent, which might help explain why she ended up behind bars. Her crime was not being 100% honest in her business dealings, and for that, she was sentenced to over a year and a day in jail. She also got slapped with a $40,000 fine and had a $120,000 judgment awarded against her. However, she got an early release from jail. That's because in prison, she behaved like a saint with a lot to prove and never looked for trouble. Number 15, Ja Rule. Ever heard of Jeffrey Atkins? That happens to be the real name of Ja Rule. And to be clear, this guy used to be big back in the day. He has won enough awards and acclaim to make your head spin, and his works are worth exploring. Now Ja Rule is on the list because back in 2007, the cops pulled him over while he was leaving a concert, searched his ride, and found artillery that he was not supposed to possess. He pled guilty and was sentenced to two years in the slammer, but that sure wasn't the last of his troubles with the law. Incidentally, the same concert Ja Rule attended that saw his arrest was the same one at which Lil Wayne got arrested for setting some controlled substances afire for his personal consumption. Well, what a bummer. Number 16, Tim Allen. Everyone seems to remember Tim Allen. The guy is incredibly funny and entertaining and has starred in memorable movies and TV shows beyond counting. What most don't know is that Funny Tim was also arrested at an airport in Kalamazoo in late 1978 for the crime of having a load of powder. And we are not talking about the kind of powder you rub on face of newborns. Threatened with eternal fire and damnation, plus the prospect of life in prison, Tim was persuaded to rat out his homies in exchange for a reduced sentence of two years and four months. Once he got out, he went clean and turned his life around big time. Number 17, Robert Downey Jr. 
It is surprising that even Iron Man himself has been landed behind bars, and for three years, no less. It's still a wonder at how he didn't use his time in prison to create a flying suit and escape from this plan. Now, Robert Downey Jr. is a very talented fella, but a very troubled one too, especially during the first few decades of his life. He could act and charm, but had problems with making the right decisions and loved ingesting substances that were less than legal. At one time in his life, no studio would employ him and he got written off as a has-been who wasted his talents. Perhaps the lowest point was when he got imprisoned for three years after being found in default of the term of his probation. The prison sentence provided most of the motivation that Downey needed to turn his life around and get serious. Hail the Iron Man. Number 18. Wesley Snipes Blade was the movie that introduced Wesley Snipes to most of us, and boy was he good as a vampire hunter with serious sword skills. Wesley Snipes has been successful in his career, earning many millions, but he apparently didn't feel that giving the mandated share of his money to the federal and state government was a good move. To that effect, he hired advisors who filed tax returns on his behalf that failed to disclose important information. In 2008, Snipes was sentenced to three years in jail and did his stint without much complaint. Number 19. The Brat The Brat can be more bratty than Princess, to whom nothing is denied. She has a reputation for getting physical with people she's not on good terms with and has regularly gotten into trouble for using stuff to hit people. In August of 2008, she got sentenced to three years in jail, seven years of probation, and 200 hours of community service. Her crime? She'd argued with a nightclub waitress, gotten offended, and assaulted the hostess on the head with a bottle. Whether the experiment was successful or not is something that we really want to know, but suffice to say that she was punished for her behavior. Thankfully, the brat has mellowed a lot since then and is no longer the wild lady she was fond of being. Number 20. Booker T. Booker T is a monster of a man and perhaps one of the greatest wrestlers ever. The guy broke so many records and is a two-time WWE Hall of Famer, which is something you don't see very often. Back before he became famous, Booker T and a few friends pulled up and took money they were not entitled to from a Wendy's restaurant. They were all caught soon after, with Booker getting five years in prison. He served 19 months of his sentence and afterwards dived into the world of professional wrestling. Since then, life has never been the same for him. Wrestling fans everywhere delight in his ring antics and love the high-octane entertainment he provided on the regular. Number 21. R. Kelly The last few years have not been rosy for R. Kelly. He has fallen far from grace and is at the moment about done. R. Kelly is facing almost a score of federal charges, which relate to racketeering, keeping people somewhere they don't want to be, and not giving the course of justice a free hand to operate. He was arrested in mid-2019 and has been denied bail no less than three times. His trial is set to begin in early of 2021 and he faces from 10 years to life if found guilty. He has won three Grammy Awards for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance, Best R&B Song, and Best Song Written for a Motion Picture, Television, or Other Visual Media, all for the 1998 ballad, I Believe I Can Fly. Number 22, Danny Trejo. There's no doubt at all in our minds that you would mess yourself up if you woke up and saw Danny Trejo standing in front of the foot of your bed. Guy has a face that seems to be the stuff of nightmares, but is actually a very friendly guy who actually cracks jokes like he's aiming to put you down with giggles. Famed for his tough guy appearance and mannerisms, Danny was actively pursuing a criminal career before fate intervened. His early teen years were spent in California detention centers, and then he went to jail for about 11 years after being convicted of possessing illegal fire spitting equipment, plus the kind of illicit substances that pharmacists don't usually prescribe. After nearly avoiding being executed for throwing something hard at a guard, Danny resolved to turn his life around, quit his addictions, and made something of himself. Needless to say, he has been extraordinarily successful at that. Number 23. Oscar Pistorius They say disability ain't inability, and Oscar Pistorius was determined to work hard and leg it to victory. He achieved his aim and then some, and got to interact with some of the most influential and notable personages on the globe. He ended up with one of the prettiest girls in the world, but the relationship was soon to end in tragedy, with Oscar getting arrested for this. He was initially sentenced to six years in prison. The sentence shocked the government, which then appealed. Subsequently, it was boosted to 15 years, which was seen as more fitting for the severity of the crime. Number 24. MVP If you are a WWE fan, then you must have heard of MVP, or Montel Vontavious Porter. His real name is Hassan Haman Assad, but that is not important in this tale. Hassan has had a tough childhood and spent time in correctional institutions. At age 16, he was sentenced to 18 and a half years in jail for taking what didn't belong to him and holding someone without their consent. 
18 and a half years, sure does sound like a lot, but Hassan only served nine and a half years of his sentence. Soon after prison, he began wrestling and turning his life around. The results so far have been spectacular, as he's now a two-time WWE US Champion and a one-time WWE Tag Team Champion. That's not too bad at all. Number 25. Phil Spector Phil Spector is a producer who's as famous for his influence as he is for his odd behavior and mannerisms. He's worked for and with class acts like the Beatles, the Ronettes, the Righteous Brothers, and was known to get things done no matter what it took. One February morning in 2003, Phil and a young lady entered into his California mansion, with Phil exiting shortly after with a fire-spinning piece of steel in his hand, muttering about putting someone down. He was tried in 2007, with this resulting in a hung jury. Another trial a year later saw him sentenced to 19 years to life in prison. His parole hearing is scheduled for 2025, which seems like a century away. Number 26. Harvey Weinstein The word Colossus was probably invented just for someone like Harvey Weinstein. In his heyday, the guy had a stranglehold on the film industry and almost no one could get hired or film a shot without his express say-so. Unfortunately, power tends to corrupt and with the amount of power in his hands, Weinstein soon began to feel the normal rules of conduct did not apply to geniuses like himself. His misconduct was exposed in 2017, though it was common knowledge in the industry at the time. He was dismissed from his movie production company and kicked out of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Early in 2020, he was sentenced to 23 years in prison and is currently serving a sentence at the Wend Correctional Facility in New York. Number 27. Shug Knight You don't really mess around with Shug Knight, not if you're interested in having a long and fruitful life. The rat mogul and co-founder of Death Row Records was a violent man, often in conflict with the law, and there are rumors that he had something to do with the eternal departure of Tupac, who is said to have desired the termination of his contract. Suge Knight is no stranger to prison, but on October 2018, he was given a 28-year sentence after knocking down and moving over two fellas, with one of the two not surviving. Knight is a universally despised figure who displayed no emotion at his sentencing and will probably be in prison for the rest of his life. Number 28. Vibes Cartel Vibes Cartel sure did have plenty of vibes and was a mesmerizing entertainer who could work the crowds like few others. A few years ago, though, he and some fellas were arrested and accused of being behind the permanent disappearance of a friend. He was subsequently tried and found guilty before being sentenced to life in prison. With such a sentence, he would have needed to have served at least 35 years and 6 months before he could be eligible for parole. On appeal, the courts decided he could be eligible for parole in 32 years or so. That's a long time, but rumor has it that Vibes is vibing to this good news and celebrating. Number 29. O.J. Simpson Given his spectacular NFL career and what was known as the trial of the century, there's no way O.J. Simpson could not be described as having brand name recognition. Famously acquitted of assassination, O.J. Simpson was the archetypical hero or villain of the 90s, depending on where he stood, with his acquittal being one of the most polarizing moments of the last decade of the 20th century. However, he found it difficult to stay out of trouble and in 2008 was tried and given a 33-year sentence for leading a group of men to a Las Vegas hotel room to get back sports memorabilia that allegedly were his. He served nine years of his sentence before becoming a free man and since then he's been on the down low. Well, that's all hope he learned his lesson. Number 30. Jonathan Paul Coppenhaver In his prime, Jonathan Paul Coppenhaver is known as War Machine, which means he's not exactly the kind of guy to be on bad terms with. In 2017, the former MMA fighter got a life imprisonment sentence, with parole eligibility being set at 36 years. He was charged for assault and kidnap, among other felonies. Paul will be 71 years old when he's eligible for parole and supervised release. As far as his career goes, he is 14-5, and five, fighting in multiple mixed martial arts promotions such as UFC and Bellator, competing in the welterweight division. Number 31. Nick Nolte Nick Nolte is a Golden Globe Award winner and has been nominated for multiple Academy Awards. He's an actor, producer, and model of no mean repute, and was known for being something of a bad boy. Nolte has always had substance problems for much of his life and frequently got into trouble because of it. In 1965, he was arrested for having documents that were less than genuine and was tried and sentenced to 45 years in prison, apart from being fined $75,000. However, the sentence was suspended and he was therefore not obliged to serve the time for his crime. 32. Tamor Trayvon McIntyre, a.k.a. TK. At just 20 years old, Tamor Trayvon McIntyre is one of the youngest entrants on the list. He's a rapper who is famous for taunting the cops while on the lam and is currently serving a 55-year sentence for his involvement in a breaking in that ended in a violent and premature departure to the pearly gates of a single individual. He's also fined $21,000 for that offense. 
That's, however, not the least of his problems, as he's facing major lawsuits and could soon go on trial again for bringing the life of a photographer to a premature end while running for the cops. Given the circumstances, there's almost no likelihood that Taymor will breathe free air ever again. And now the moment you've been waiting for, the quiz answer. Earlier on, we asked you which Hollywood lady was sent to jail. If you answered Nicole Snooky Polizzi, give yourself a pat on the back. Snooky spent a few hours in jail in 2010 for disturbing the peace and exhibiting disorderly conduct. Hungry for more celebrity prison knowledge? Click on the playlist right here to binge watch more celebrities, including your favorite actors currently languishing in jail, as well as those with the longest prison sentences. See you there.